Hi, I'm Patrick Smith, Associate Professor here at Mount West Community Town College. I'm over the three networking options we have here, and you're here because you want to know more information. So let's talk. So first and foremost, you may be wondering, how long does it take to get through these options? Well, let's talk about each one of them one by one for a minute, shall we? We have the Network Administrations option, which allows you to go ahead and take 62 hours over four semesters, so you're able to get out in two years at this point, and you're able to take classes in software side, meaning mainly Microsoft. You learned about setting up Microsoft servers, setting them back to directory, setting up Windows computers. So if you already have a love for Windows and you want to know how to lock it down in an environment, this might be the option for you. Other highlights of that option would be we have a class on virtualization where you're able to learn about Microsoft and VMware side by side and the different solutions they offer. And we have a class also on intelligent storage management where you learn about storage area networks and how those get managed in large scale environments where you might have a lot of virtualization at play. In that option, you also have a Fundamentals and Network Security class where you learn how to secure your virtual machines, your Microsoft Windows 10 machines, your Microsoft 2016 machines, for example, and 2019 moving forward. Our second option we have here ends up being the Network System Security option. That is also a two-year program, four semesters. And in that option, you take some of the Microsoft classes, but you also get to take some of the Cisco classes. So you get a little bit of hardware and a little bit of software in that case. You also have several security classes that have already been talked about. This will make it to where you can go ahead and come into a, an organization and be able to set up both their Windows computers and also run all their cabling and set up their routers and switches in their environment. Our third option was the Network System Cybersecurity option. That option goes deep on the hardware side. You do take those four Cisco classes to get certified with a CCNA, but you go even more deeply there to take additional security-based CCNA classes for Cisco to make sure you can lock down your routers, your switches, your firewalls in your environment. And we also have classes in that option on Linux Plus as well as Certified Ethical Hacker. All three of those options, I'd like to repeat, only take you two years to get through as a full-time student. If you wish to go part-time, we can definitely help you try to figure out how to get through there in a meaningful amount of time for you. But by default, all those are in a fall, spring, fall, spring setup to where you can get out of here and get in the workforce in two years. We understand people have to work. Most of our students are working professionals. So here in the network administration, the network security, and the network cybersecurity option, a large majority of our classes are actually taught in the evenings. And myself and Scott Nicholas understand that you have to work. We want to make sure as long as you can stay up with your information that you have to be learning, we will gladly work with you. And then from there, we always want you to go and get certified because yes, it's fantastic to show an employer that you got an associate's degree from Mount West that shows that you have the drive and the skills to go ahead and stick with something for two years, but that won't necessarily tell them what you learned here. Getting those industry certifications will tell an employer exactly the skills that you have and let them know that you're prepared to work on their Cisco equipment, their Microsoft equipment, or do some security for them in their environment. When it comes to your income potential, I can tell you that I have students that come in and go through my internship class and get hired on straight out of college here and typically start in our area around $35,000. Depending on the certifications you've attained, that typically can go a little bit higher for you. But the great thing is you can get that first job. Typically, people will go ahead and go through my internship classes and get that line on their resume. And some of those companies will like the student, some students will like the company, and they might actually make that be their first IT job. And the great thing is, even if it's not your first IT job, if you don't stay with the company, that's an extra line that gets added to your resume. So all of our network administration, network cybersecurity, and security students will end up going through my internship class. They will all take IT 299, and I will help get you placed at a local IT firm doing IT at hospitals, at other service providers, that type of thing, and that will help get you that line on your resume. Because so many times students tell me about the catch-22 of, I tried to apply for this entry-level IT position, 
I tried to apply and it said they wanted three to five years. How can you apply for an entry level position if I don't have the experience? And so the greatest thing about doing the internship allows you to apply all the skills you've learned throughout your time here at MCTC. You can finally apply it in a real world environment. You can get that line on your resume. So that way when you do interview for an entry level job and they say, what have you done? You can give a better answer than nothing. You can explain all the cool technologies you've actually used out there. And like I say, many of my students have left here immediately from college with a couple certifications and typically landed a job in this area at about thirty-five dollars to $40,000. In the next five years or so, I typically hear back from them and they might have actually worked their way up to, to management or even a little bit below that. And you can attain in this area somewhere in the area of $60,000 to $65,000. I will tell you, I'm not going to tell you that's for everybody. Many of my students that get to that level have an excellent drive. It's up to you to make sure you are motivated and do with, with the skills we give you. But I want you to know that that's possible to attain that here in this area. If you wish to move to some larger city like Columbus, your earning potential skyrockets from there. And especially if you take your cybersecurity skills and you get additional certifications and clearances, you can definitely see the earning potential can start to hit the mid to high 80s, as well as sometimes six figures. So the sky is the limit. It's all about what you want to do with it. Many students ask me, am I able to go ahead and transfer what I've learned here to other colleges and universities? And the short answer to that is yes. I will tell you that when you take classes here in networking, those aren't the typical classes that would transfer to a typical four-year degree like Marsh University or WVU, but I've had many students who've gone on to places like Western Governors University, or WGU for short, where they have specialized IT degrees. I even had two students I can think of who went on and went there, leveraged the certifications they'd already attained while being here at Mount West to be able to knock out their bachelor's degree in as little as a year and a half that's no longer a two plus two, that's a two plus one and a half. And on top of that, both of those students went the extra mile to go ahead and get them a master's degree in IT. So it's wonderful when you can find institutions that will help you get additional certifications that make you more marketable, but also get yourself a bachelor's and master's degree, which will also make you more marketable, especially as you rise through the ranks and potentially want to become management material at an organization. When it comes to advice I would tell you to be successful in my program, I regularly ask my students as they're graduating what advice they would give to a potential student like you. And nine times out of ten, what they all say is, you need to understand when you come into this program that in IT, things are constantly changing. This better be an option that you love. This better not be something you're just punching the clock and going home for because you can't. In IT, things change every three years sometimes faster. So be prepared to be a continuous learner your entire life. When you get hired on by a company to be their IT person, they're hiring you on one to take care of their existing environment, but they're also hiring you on to take care of their environment three years, five years, ten years on down the road. It's going to be your job to stay up to date with the latest technologies that that company buys. And if you don't have the uh, tenacity right now, to want to learn about all the technology skills, then you might want to look someplace else because you're going to be learning your entire life. When I graduated from Marshall Community Technical College back in 2000, I got certified on Windows NT4. That was Microsoft's basically big brother to Windows 95. Since then though, I've got certified in Windows 2000, 2003, 2008, 2012, 2016. So I can assure you you're going to constantly have to stay up to date with technology. That's their biggest advice they give people. If you're not already passionate about it, you may want to change your mind because this needs to be something that you're passionate about, that you love to tinker with, that you love to play with all the time in your environment. That's the number one thing they tell you. The second thing they go ahead and warn people about is that there's a lot of information you're going to be learning. This is not an easy field. If it was, everybody would be an MCSC or a CCNA or be a certified ethical hacker. So based on that, there's a lot of technology terms you're going to learn. There's a lot of skills you're going to learn. The great thing about that is that here at MCTC, myself and Scott Nicholas, who predominantly teaches networking classes, 
we cater to the visual learners. We cater to the auditory learners. We cater to the hands-on tactile learners. We make sure we hit all the different learning styles to make sure you understand those skills. It will be a lot of information you're going to be learning, but I can promise you it is possible. I have tons of success stories from people who would not be the most likely candidates to come through a networking option. For example, I had a student back in 2008 that had hurt his back. He'd been in construction his whole life, so everything he knew was cinder blocks and timber. And suddenly he was now coming into the world of computers. And he was really, really worried, would he be able to succeed? I can promise you all, he did succeed. I helped him understand the knowledge. I helped him break down those complex concepts into easy to understand technologies. He is now certified and working out in IT as we speak. So it's completely doable. It will just take dedication and tenacity on your side to understand that you're never going to be able to stop learning in IT. In my case, I don't find that intimidating. I find that great. I enjoy teaching here in a classroom where I have 25 computers. It's like I'm in a giant sandbox and I get to play with all my toys. That's the passion I have for that. That's also the passion Scott Nicholas has for it. We are here for you. At Mount West, our culture is fantastic. I first came to Mount West when we were part of Marshall as a student, and I absolutely fell in love with how hands-on the professors were at that point. And so I'm carrying that love on myself at this point. So when you come here, I assure you, I will know your name. I know every single one of my students' names. You will not sit in a 100-seat lecture hall and hear me lecture all day about technology. Instead, you will come here into the classroom, you will sit down on one of these computers, and we will install Windows Server. And while I'm working on stuff up front there, you will also be working on it. You will be doing the exact same thing I'm doing hands-on at that point. And I will know your name because our class sizes are small. I end up knowing everyone's name, which is fantastic because when they do take my internship class later on, I regularly get phone calls from local industry saying, hey Patrick, I need three or four IT help desk people. Do you have anyone you can suggest? I can rattle off names right now of people that I would send out there. So you are not a number here at Mount West at all. You are totally a person. We wanna make sure that you fall in love with technology in the ways that we have. And one of the greatest things about our programs is that as you go through them, you will get to see a ton of different technologies. There is a lot of different technologies out in the IT field. The greatest thing about coming here to Mount West is that you're gonna be exposed to a lot of them. You're gonna be able to get to almost treat it as a buffet. You're gonna to get to try a little bit of this and a little bit of that to find what you love and find where your passion's at. And then that way, you can then highly dedicate yourself and get certified more deeply in that particular area. IT is a very, very vast array of different technologies. So you have the ability to move around a lot in your career and do different things from working on computers to setting up routers to doing telephony. You know, the telephones, the voice over IP telephones they have out there. You could be doing video conferencing. The sky is the limit. There's a lot of different areas you can focus on. And coming here to Mount West will expose you to a lot of those to find out where your passion lies. We are here as facilitators. We want to make sure that we can help you take your passion and turn that into a lifelong job that you're going to love. We want you to be like us. We come to work each day and, you know, we often say, we do this even if they didn't pay us. That's how much we love it. We want you to have that infectious attitude for IT as well. So if you have any questions about our programs, feel free to reach out to myself, Patrick Smith, at smith288 at mctc.edu, or Scott Nicholas at nicholas at mctc.edu. Thank you all and have a good day.